Welcome, this video is on systems of equations word problems, and we're going to talk about ones with current in them, wind current, water current, not electrical. So I made this as a bit of a pen, and so I forgot to make a video about it, and then I gave assignment on it in my Algebra 2 class, so that was not fair. So if you're in that class, um, here's number 12. So the question says, a boat traveled 96 miles downstream and back, so that would be 96 down and 96 back. The trip downstream took 6 hours, the trip back took 12 hours. Find the speed of the boat in still water, so without any current influence, and the speed of the current. The first thing that we need to do before we move anywhere else is understand, or what I need to tell myself anyway, is that distance equals rate times time. Which makes sense. If you're going 30 miles an hour for an hour, you go 30 miles. So I'm going to rewrite this, uh, rearrange it a little bit, just because of the fact that it makes it look, the question itself look prettier. So I'm going to say rate times time equals distance. Now, the nice thing about this is uh, I have an upstream component that's, in the, these parts are pretty easy to figure out. The distance is the same for both. That's the really nice part. The time is different. In my downstream trip, it takes six hours. In my upstream trip, it takes 12. Now, my rate is the more complicated part, but not super complicated. Don't freak out. The rate here would be how it's the speed of the items that are moving. When I'm going downstream, I'm, of course, going the rate of the boat, which I'm going to call B. Incidentally enough, I'm going to use C for current. Bold, I know. Um, but I'm going to use B here. When I go downstream, I'm going that speed plus the speed of the current, because the current's pushing me, so I can go a lot faster, potentially. Um, on the other side of it, when I go upstream, I get the boat speed, but I'm actually beaten back by the current, so it subtracts from my overall speed. So I do B minus C in order to give me how fast it will go, or it will move on the way back up. Now, from here, I can make a pretty simple uh, systems by setting it up like 6 times B plus C, so time times rate here, equals 96. Um, I'm going to do a distributive here and sort of solve it that way, but I'm going to say right now that you can divide both sides by 6, which would give you B plus C equals um, 16, I think. And then that may be smaller numbers for you, and it might make it easier. I'm going to choose to do it the other way just because of the fact that uh, I'm going to choose the way I'm doing it because it looks more like a traditional systems of equations, and you don't have to do something that sort of goes out of the norm for systems. It's not that much out of the norm, but you know, I just thought this would be a, a way that is more visually pleasing, I guess. 6 times B is 6B. 6 times C is 6C, and that, of course, is equal to 96. On the upstream, I've got 12. I do this and this, and I end up with 12B minus 12C equals 96. So now it's like traditional systems. I'm going to use elimination. Um, sorry about that. So I'm going to, this is minus 12, and I know that 6 times 2 is 12, so I'll just go ahead and multiply both of these by 2. I'm actually going to move these down here, so draw a little line, just because I want to leave some space for later. So 12B plus 12C pl equals uh, 192. On the bottom, I'm just going to bring that one directly down without doing anything because it's ready to go. Now the C's cancel out. Uh, 12 and 12 would be 24, of course. And then the 192 plus 96 would be 280, or sorry, yeah, 288. Right there. Now I need to get B by itself. That's the worst 8 ever. There we go, that's better. Divide by 24 on both sides. And my B comes out to be that was weird to say, wasn't it? Uh, 12, and that would be miles per hour, which makes, you know, it's a pretty reasonable speed. Now, um, my current speed is the other thing that I need to figure out, and if I had done the divide by thing that I talked about earlier, it makes it easier to plug back in, but it's not like it's really super difficult to find C. I'm going to plug it back into this one, the 6B plus 6C thing. So 6B, sorry about that, B plus 6C is equal to 96. My B value that I'm going to use is, of course, 12, because that's how fast the boat's moving. And then I can figure out how fast my current moves. So 72. My 
minus 72 on both sides, I end up with 6c is equal to 24. I divide by 6 on both sides, and I find my current value, or the speed of the current anyway, is 4 miles per hour. So in a nice written out form, b is equal to 12, and c is equal to 4, and both of those, I'm going to use like the car version, MPH. So that's it. This boat goes 12 miles an hour, the current goes 4, because, and you could test it if you like. Um, if I add those two together and I multiply it by 6, adding them both together would give you 16, and if you multiply 16 times 6, it does indeed give you 96 miles. If you want to do uh, the bottom one for the upstream, you take 12 and subtract 4, and that's 8, and 8 times 12 is indeed 96. So I can say with pretty, much, with pretty good confidence that this is the correct answer. So that's it for the speed of current. I uh, hope that you found it helpful, and if you're in my Algebra 2 class, sorry guys, uh, at least I got it up eventually, right?